Hey everybody. <clears throat> I wanted to do a quick review video on the hard candy makeup line that's now being carried over at Walmart. I'm sure most, if not all of you already knew about the fact that it's being carried over there now exclusively. So, um, I went and I looked at it, and since my husband works at Walmart, I get the employee discount. So, uh, I picked up a couple of the items, and, um, I have to say, a lot of it, obviously, um, I've got an already other brands, and a lot of it looks like kind of teeny bopper stuff, to be, to be honest. Um, there's one, they have like a, a fortune telling lip gloss, which basically is just like a lip gloss, and it's got this little tiny cube thing on top, and you shake it, and you might be able to read the fortune on the top. Kind of like a magic eight ball. But, uh, not very exciting. Um, but you do you know, for a teen, little, you know, preteen girl, that'd be, be very cool. But, um, for a 25 year old mom, not so much. Um, there's a lot of glittery stuff, and I'm just not a huge glittery type person. I have small children, glitter goats everywhere. So, I have a couple of glitter things in my thing, in my, in my kit, well maybe more than a couple, but I don't wear a whole ton of it, so, um, I did get a few items, I looked, Vintage Attacky, Cora, she actually did review with the, um, Nobody's Perfect Concealer Palette, I looked at getting that, and if I did get it, it would have been just for the colored side, because the actual concealers themselves were like maybe five, ten shades too dark for me, um, they are a standard shade for most people, one would think, but I, am, I have no standard skin tone. So, um, the, uh, the shades that they had in there would end up actually maybe drawing more attention to blemishes and whatnot than they already did on their own. So, I picked up a few items. First, I picked up this one yesterday. Oh, Eva. This is the same color as my shirt. This is a Walk the Line liquid liner in turquoise. You can see it there. And it's actually not too bad. Um, it's not as opaque. I'm wearing it right now over on top, layered on top of my black eyeliner. I'm just wearing a, like, um, with Raven Beauty, I'm wearing electric white, dark night, and then carbon in the V of the eye. So you can kind of see... Cause I like to do something like that. If you're gonna wear, if I'm gonna wear the bright liquid liner, I like to just make that be my big pop of color, so you can kind of see it a little bit. It's not a huge bright pop of color, but it's it's kind of fun. It's not a it's not a bad product. They've got a few different colors, um, so I just have to say probably a four out of five. The biggest thing I don't like about it is its brush isn't that great. Kind of a cheapy brush, but that's okay. You you gotta make do with what you got. So, so yeah, that was kind of cool. Uh, I picked up this one a couple weeks ago, and it came in a little palette with these two. And this was open. Look so. Had this across it like that. And that's how you tend to find them. And this is the Eye Candy Cream Eyeshadow in Electra. You can see there. It's got a little mirror in back. <clears throat> but yeah, it's basically just straight glitter. And I've got I'm gonna take I'm gonna swatch all these and put them in my blog. Link link in the sidebar. Uh and it came with a matching little pencil. The pencil's not too bad. Uh, I've used it on my lower eyeliner or lower lash line a couple times. This, I was not enchanted with, uh, no matter, even with my, my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, this creased really badly. Over eyeshadow, under eyeshadow, on its own, it just creased, creased, creased. It did not blend very well, the glitter just, it's not that great, I'm afraid. And I'll, I'll swatch this too so you can see on my blog. So, not a fan. I actually got another one of these for my birthday from a friend, and I just took it back. Didn't tell her. Just took it back. Sorry, you know, she can, if she wants to look go look through my thing, she can just find this. I was not impressed by that at all. And I also got two other eyeshadow duos. I got this one, and this is, um, they're called the Kaleidoscope 
baked eyeshadow duos. This one's a pickup line. Let's see here. It's kind of a goldish white over kind of a tealy color. I don't know if you can kind of see that very well. Now for these, um, this one's Secret Rendezvous. And, uh, I'm, this is my f first real experience with, like, a, a baked mineral, baked eyeshadow, I guess. Unless, you know, normal ones are baked. I don't think they are. I think they're just pressed. These ones are baked. Um, I had never really experienced one. I think they kind of remind me, just looking at them, not that I've ever had any experience with it, but they kind of remind me of those mineral eyeshadows from MAC, just looking at them based on what I've seen other people using. And you can rub your brush on them, like, a lot, and it doesn't really show that you ever touched them. These aren't hugely pigmented. Like, it looks pretty cool on the finger. i got to go rub it on my hand. And you don't really see a whole lot. In the swatches, you'll kind of show, see that it shows up a bit better with the primer. And they're really shimmery. And if you... I, got, I, I used... I made this one... Or used this one as a look a few days ago. And, uh... I packed it on so you're able to see some of the color, and I really packed it on. It didn't crease at all, so that was all right. Um, this one, yeah, it looks better on the finger. It doesn't really show much on the R on the hand. Okay, that's right there. I will swatch this as well, and check out the blog to see swatches for these. But yeah, they're actually kind of, they're pretty. Uh, this made it for a pretty look. You can see, I've used it for a couple different times, and you can't even see that I ever touched it with my brush, so. I don't know if that's normal for that kind of thing. Uh, maybe somebody who has, who watches my videos, if you have, like, the MAC shadows, like this kind of thing, let me know if that's normal. But, um, overall, they're not bad. I'd probably give them a four out of five stars. So, that's... The hard candy line from what I've got. Um, I'll put the link, or I'll, I'll just put this as video response to uh, Vintage Otaki's review. So you guys can just click on the link to that and watch her review on the Nobody's Perfect Concealer palette. and Because um, that'll probably work better for most of the people that watch this video. Uh, so yeah, check it out and I'll see you guys around.